this video I'm going to talk about URL lab library so and also I'm going to show you that how you can do some basic uh, network programming using URL lib. so the URL lib package is divided into several sub modules for dealing different tasks uh, for making requests uh, for and for receiving responses from the server uh, we can use URL lib so now let me just show you a simple example uh, let me uh, write start coding I have uh, opened my PyCharm ID and I have uh, created a new uh, Python file now uh, let me just write from URL lib dot request import URL open like this okay now let me create a response in here URL open and in here you need to write up your uh, URL so I'm using my website uh, codelook.org uh, you can check this website and you can get a lot of uh, articles on programming and you can get source codes of these articles uh, in different programming sections uh, I will add the link to the video description you can check this okay now I'm going to add this in here and now I want to print the response print a response okay so now if I run this you will see that I'm receiving a response object from this uh, website so let me just run this okay now you can see that this is a HTTP response object that I have received uh, from this website and uh, uh, also uh, you can do uh, so uh, in here we have uh, used the URL open function uh, uh, for sending a request and receiving a response from this website from the server of this website and uh, also you can print for example if you can print uh, a response so response dot r response dot read a line and now if I run this Okay, now you can see that this is our uh, uh, it returned the read line uh, doc HTML. So now uh, from this example, uh, you can see that this uh, the uh, uh, this URL open uh, we have received a response object from this URL open, and uh, mm, this URL open uh, returns the http.client.http response uh, in a sense and uh, also now uh, you can uh, use uh, you can print the URL if you want for example uh, if you want to view the URL for the response uh, that uh, we have received in the previous section in, in here uh, you can do now let me just show you so print response.url and now if I run this and now you can see that uh, this is uh, the response uh, URL so and here we have uh, done read line but also you can restrict the uh, lines for example now let me just remove these uh, and now let me print for example response dot read read and in here you need to specify for example I want to read the 50 character so now if I run this you can see now this is the 50 character and if you change it for example 200 and if you run this <coughs> Uh, 
and uh, now you can see that uh, we have uh, the 200 line from the you can see that this is Python code loop my website is this is the title okay now uh, after this we are going to talk about a status code so uh, what if you want to know whether anything unexpected had happened to our request or what if we wanted to know uh, whether our response uh, contained any data before we read the data uh, maybe uh, sometime uh, we are expecting a large response and we want to uh, quickly see if our request has been successful reading, with or, uh, without reading uh, the whole response uh, for this uh, in uh, HTTP response we have a status that you can uh, use that so for example in here uh, I want to print uh, response dot status so now if I run this uh, I will you will expect that we receive 200 because 200 is a success yeah now you can see we have received 200 response so there are different uh, codes uh, status codes uh, that uh, we have for example this uh, 200 is for success uh, 300 is for redirection uh, 400 is for uh, client error or uh, page not found and uh, 500 is uh, for server error or internal server error now uh, so how we can handle uh, these kind of problems for example uh, uh, page not found or internal server error so uh, these status codes help us to see uh, whether our response was successful or not so if we receive code between the range of 200 it means that it's a successful but if we receive a response the in the range of 400 uh, up to 500 then it indicates that this was a failure failure now uh, so uh, if uh, something goes wrong uh, in URL package we can uh, uh, check uh, the status code by raising an exception so if we encounter any problem we can raise an exception so now let me show you that uh, what I mean uh, let me just remove this and in here uh, I'm going to open import URL lib dot error like this and uh, let me just remove this response and copy this let me create a try and in the accept accept url lib dot error dot dot http error as e like this okay and now we can print for example I want to print first status uh, the status uh, e dot code and we can print the reason if we uh, for example if it was a uh, uh, failure we have received we want to see the reason that why it has failed and also we are going to see the URL e dot URL and uh, so for this if I run this because uh, we will receive a successful response for this so there is no problem for this okay you can see that there is no problem but if I change this for example I'm going to change this to page and I don't have any page in my uh, website or in my server so if I run this okay now you can see we have a status of 404 so 
and the reason is not found and this is the URL so like this you can handle uh, the uh, problems for this okay so after this we are going to talk about HTTP headers now uh, uh, when uh, when we send a request to the server or and when we receive a response now this the request and response are made up two main parts so we have the headers and we have the body now uh, the information that appears at the beginning of the raw message uh, that is sent over the TCP connection uh, and the body is uh, the rest of the message so that is uh, the header and this is the body of the message and it is separated from the headers by a black line and uh, so now uh, let me just uh, show you uh, the, how you can get the headers uh, let me just copy this and remove these codes from here uh, let me create a response in here and also I want to change um, response so this is my response and now you can print this print a response to get get headers so now if I run this now you can see that these are the headers that we have uh, received server apache and uh, it's http code loop and you can see okay so now uh, after the headers we are going to uh, talk about the cookies now a cookie is a small piece of data that the server sends in a set cookie header as a part of the response so the client stores the cookies locally and includes them in any future requests uh, that are sent to the server uh, servers use cookies in various ways for example they can add a unique ID to them uh, when enables them to track a client uh, as it access accesses different areas of the site uh, they can store a login token uh, which is automatically lock the client in and uh, so there are different uh, works that you can do with the cookie so now uh, let me show you the example of cookie handling in URL lib and uh, let me remove this and also let me just remove uh, this uh, let me make a google.com if I for code loop I think I don't have any cookie so now first uh, you need to create uh, and here you need to import from HTTP dot cookie jar import cookie jar and in here we need to create the object of uh, cookie jar okay now after this let me create an opener and uh, also I need to import uh, I don't need uh, this uh, URL open so let me just uh, I need a build opener and also I need HTTP cookie processor HTTP cookie processor okay now in the opener uh, build opener and in here you need to uh, write the HTTP cookie processor and add your cookie jar in here cookie jar like this okay and now we are going to open I don't need to this let me just copy this URL and paste it in here okay now opener dot open okay so now I'm going to print the length of a cookie a cookie jar 
and you can print this so now you can see uh, we have two cookies uh, for uh, this and uh, uh, so uh, whenever we use uh, the opener so to make further requests uh, the HTTP cookie uh, processor functionality will check our this cookie jar to see if it contains any cookie for that site and then it will automatically add them to our requests it will also add any further cookies that are received to the cookie jar and uh, so this was the link if you want to know your cookies uh, you can do and uh, in here so let me create a list of cookies and uh, you can add the cookie jar let me print cookies let me run this So now you can see that this is the two cookies uh, domain google.com like this okay so uh, thank you guys uh, this was uh, our simple uh, um, discussion on URL lab if you have any question please let me know and if you want the source code and more information you can check my website and you can get uh, uh, also you can get uh, for example this uh, Python network programming with URL lab and you can check uh, this website also subscribe my channel and also share and like this